Yes, this week, over the last few days, we have seen many of these myths about 5G, like uh, the rail, because 5G is here, is real, and will be on the kind of devices that people expect today in terms of smartphones. So we saw, starting with the launch of the uh, Samsung Galaxy S10 5G uh, last week, as well as the Galaxy 4, then going with the Xiaomi, the uh, Mi Mix 3 5G device, and then announcement from CTE, right? And Oppo showing their kind of prototype devices, Sony as well. Um, even OnePlus, right? We have here in our booth, they're kind of uh, showcasing prototype devices overall LG with the V50 ThinQ 5G device as well. All this proliferation of devices show that the form factor, they will not be bulky, right? They can look and they will be as people expect from their devices. And their prices will be as well, yes, we have a range, but it will be a range within, again, people what expect to get uh, uh, from a smartphone overall. And we'll see the same thing with the power, right? We Today, we were talking about our uh, Qualcomm 5G power safe technology, which builds on technology like a connected mode, uh, discontinued reception, right, on 3GPP. And on top of that, other technologies to be able to satisfy the expectation that people have on how long the battery life should last in a smartphone today. So that's why I think the key summary of this week is that 5G is here and it will be on the form factors, it will be on the prices, it will be on the battery life that people expect from their smartphones today. The conversation for years has been pointing towards a 2020, even past that launch, but that is most certainly not the case of we've seen here at the show so far, right? Yes, yeah, Sean, and happy, glad to have you here. Uh, if you look back uh, a few years back, let's like, say 2017, 2016, 5G was not supposed to be working today. Uh, the timetable for the specification of 3GPP was uh, 2020 or beyond for the commercialization of 5G. In 2017, uh, Qualcomm and a few other companies saw the need and even the kind of uh, the business case for uh, 5G being deployed in an accelerated manner. And that led to uh, a, an initiative that accelerated in 3GB the specification of uh, 5G for deployment starting on 2018. For example, with things like non standalone mode that allows operators to deploy 5G using or uh, reusing uh, much of the 4G core network and uh, air interface for control channels that allow op allowed operators to be able to deploy uh, 5G as soon as this year and therefore the launch of devices. And what we have seen on the last few days here at Mobile World Congress is the launch of a series of smartphones, uh, them launching on the second quarter or the first half of this year that will bring 5G to consumers just in a matter of weeks, right, or a few months from now.